morning folks it's uh saturday morning november the 13th and actually <laughs> video that i shot yesterday i said october the 12th on friday but it's not it's it's november so november the uh 13th it's saturday it's 4 30 in the morning nathan and i are headed to um his place from uh where we got last year and uh, we got a blind set up we've kind of got a feeder out there anyway um got about a five mile an hour six mile an hour northwest wind we had the uh, front come through last night so um anyway and by the way on that coyote it was 25 yards and i shot i mean just i i went right through the hair the back neck so anyway it was it was a little uh little to the left and a little higher than what i had anticipated i'm gonna have to um the crossbow's on because I shot it. It's just uh, shooting from elevated spot. I probably had it a little off from from where I should have. So I got to pay attention to that. But anyway, hey, Brian and Nathan, Louisiana hook and shoot, all Louisiana, all the time. Let's go hunt. So it's about uh, 4, 18, November 13th. It's uh, opening day of primitive season today. Uh, I just got off a uh, 12 hour shift. So I'm getting ready to get into the house real quick and uh, get cleaned up and then get changed over and uh, head out to the stand this morning. Um, hoping, to, hoping to see something, even if I don't see a shooter today, I'm just hoping to get out there and not not fall asleep so just uh hang around and uh i'll see y'all in a bit all right folks here we are 44 degrees 445 in the morning pulling into nathan's spot we prepared it what nate two weeks ago uh three well i mean we've had we've had the feeder out a oh, week the feeder out. but We've had the other feeder out for three. three weeks, a month, something like that. So um, we're going to slide in here and see what we can get done. Today's the open day of primitive firearms. Old Nate's got the 444. Oh, oh, uh, smokeless. You used to say smoke pole, but it's smokeless pole. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to ease in here and see what we can have happen. Hey, we'll check back with you when we're in the blind. Tell us about it, Nate. Boy, damn it. <laughs> I'm cold. You will. Right. Rude. What we're gonna shoot? Hopefully, a deer. <laughs> There's our scenery this morning, folks. Jared's at, a, at his spot. He's already seen it though. We haven't seen it yet. Good morning, y'all. So, here I am uh, in my blind now. Been out here for about, I think, about an hour and a half or so. Uh, saw that one little doe. I don't know. About 20 minutes after. So far, that's all I've seen. So just saw a really cool hawk. Um, but we're just waiting. So I will say it's a little bit chillier than uh, you know, Southern Louisiana's used to, not used to, but it's like I said, it's November thirteenth. It's forty-three degrees out today, so uh, you can almost 
almost see my breath. Well, I can see from this direction, but I don't think the camera can get you. Oh, a little bit. So, uh, I'm bundled up like it's middle of winter. But, hey, Southern Louisiana, what do you expect? Alright, folks, it's about, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And I want you to know it's it's still, I think you can hear a rat licking eyes at a hundred yards. <laughs> you might be able to hear that part at 400 yards. It's so quiet. I mean, I got a, I started whispering to Nate and a squirrel started barking. So, it's quiet. I don't like it this quiet. It's too quiet. You can't move. You can't do nothing. It's so still. Alright, we'll check back with you. Alright, folks. Well, we're pulling the plug this morning. <laughs> we ain't seen nothing. We're gonna go down here and check the feeder and pull the card on the camera and go back to the house, look at the camera and see what's what's happening. Alright folks, so it's November the 13th, the afternoon hunt. I'm actually going out this afternoon with Jared. We're going to his spot where uh, Caleb killed his little uh, buck the other day. So he's got some bunch of does he's got some yearling bucks he's got some older bucks that don't have a bunch of horns and then he's got one good seven point so we're gonna see what happens this afternoon but uh hey brian and jared from louisiana hook and shoot afternoon. let's go hunt jared and i were just discussing the uh strategy for this afternoon so uh, i'll let jared tell you about what's on video and what we may be looking for well Today, this morning, after my morning hunt, I uh, checked the trail cam and I was noticing that I've got some does on there, but I've got this funky looking spike. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of looking at taking him out. He's just longer, longer horns, and he's just a spike. They but look to be what, what, seven, eight inches long? Seven, eight inches long. So I, I'm yeah. kind of debating whether or not I want to shoot him or not, but I'm going to have a real hard time not There's a couple him. of those in there. Yeah, right? there's two of those that are in there. Yeah. So. We'll, uh, we'll just see what comes out and see how and, I'm feeling and, at the time of the hunt. Yep, and we'll see what goes on. All right, y'all, we're fixing to head to the stand. All right, everybody, so here's what we got. The deer follow that tree line right there and come to this feeder. That's right there. And then they'll walk this way more. season here in Louisiana area four and uh, so we can use a full full four as long as it's got an exposed hammer and it's loading in the breech so which that gun uh, that gun meets all those specifications so so we're good to go check back with y'all in a few minutes this portion of Louisiana Hook and Shoot is brought to you by American Hunter, your locally owned, Louisiana proud, full service gun and archery shop. If guns, knives, and archery equipment are your obsession, then this is the pro shop for you. American Hunter, Ronald Reagan Highway, Covington, Louisiana. So 
So if something does step out, I'm gonna have to restrain him if it's something he approaches you. I'm gonna have to take the bullet out of the gun. <laughs> you might just have to do that. <laughs> I'm itching to shoot something bad. Bring me some back strap. <laughs> Maybe he won't do like me and Miss yesterday, Miss that Kyle. for joining us.